I'm David Ross. I'm a technical brand manager for Affligard and plant growth regulators at St. Jet. Affligard is a, uh, is, a, is a new biological control product. It helps to reduce the amount of aflatoxin in corn and peanuts. It is, uh, was developed at the United States Department of Agriculture, USDA in Georgia, at the Peanut Research Laboratory. But we've expanded the registration into corn because it's, uh, it, it, it helps to reduce aflatoxin in corn just as it does in peanuts. Uh, we see a big future for it. Aflatoxin is the most highly toxic biological compound known. Uh, it's produced by a fungus, Aspergillus flavus, which infects corn and peanuts and produces aflatoxin. Aflatoxin uh, is a highly regulated biological uh, material. It can cause uh, severe uh, health problems such as cancer, uh, uh, liver disease, as well as uh, acute problems like death. In, uh, we don't have too much of that in the U.S., but in third world countries where uh, agronomic practices aren't as advanced, they can actually get into the food supply in large enough amounts of aflatoxin, which can actually cause people to die. And we've seen uh, in Africa a few years ago, there were 18 deaths reported from one incident. So it can be a significant health problem. And aflatoxin, uh, as I mentioned, is very highly regulated. It, had, it cannot be in human food uh, products at above 20 parts per billion which is, as you know, a very low amount. Uh, and then for other uses such as cattle feed, uh, poultry and swine feed, it has to, other levels. But anywhere between uh, above 300 parts per billion, it cannot be in any, it can't be any crop that has more than 300 parts per billion uh, cannot be sold for any use. Probably didn't go into what Affligard is, but Affligard is, is actually the same fungus that causes aflatoxin. It's Aspergillus flavus. However, with one key difference, and that is the product that we sell, the fungus does not make aflatoxin. So we put it into the environment where aflatoxin is expected to occur, where Aspergillus flavus will get into the corn or into the peanuts and produce aflatoxin. And it's basically like a game of musical chairs. There's so many ecological niches or locations where the bad fungus can take residence and create, once it gets into the crop, and the conditions are right, like hot and dry conditions like we have around here in Louisiana and in Texas and other southern states, then aflatoxin can be produced by the fungus. What we're doing is we're putting a fungus out there which doesn't produce the toxin. It's the same fungus and it'll get into the same ecological areas that the bad fungus does. So it's like a game of musical chairs. If you have a lot of chairs open and all you have is a fungus that produces aflatoxin, it will fill all those chairs. But we're inundating that field with a billion, billion spores, which now uh, outcompete for those open spots. So we fill the open spots with a fungus that won't produce aflatoxin. Therefore, we've significantly reduced the amount of areas that the bad fungus can take residence and thus reduce the amount of aflatoxin that can be produced. We're seeing an average of about 85% reduction when we use the product.